Hi there. Can we talk about naked mole rats? As I have talked in the past about Capybara and other members of the rodent family who are adorable and cute, I thought it was time to look at the other end of the spectrum by showing you a rodent that resembles a penis. And while I'm sure a lot of this video will be me making a lot of scrotum jokes, I actually wanted to talk about the naked mole rat because this unassuming and uncircumcised <laughs> creature is absolutely amazing, capable of some traits and abilities not only unheard of in rodents, but mammals in general. So let's slap a rubber on this creature and get into it. Native to Eastern Africa, the naked mole rat's unsettling appearance is the perfect example of form follows function. Living underground in an elaborate series of tunnels, their virtually hairless body allows them to easily move through the cramped tunnels, both forwards and backwards. Their large incisors grow on the outside of their mouth, allowing them to chew new tunnels without the old dirt getting in their mouths. And due to living underground, their eyes are virtually useless, with the mole rat's main senses being sense of smell and touch, being sensitive to vibrations to help them detect potential predators or intruders. Like most rodents, they are herbivorous with their main food source being tubers, from large plants that grow in the region. Though, like any self-respecting rodents, they will also engage in corpophagia. So if you're already having a hard time trying to respect this weird Benjamin Button looking creature, it also eat its own shit. And while we usually associate mammals with being warm-blooded, aka they have a set body temperature that their body can regulate, the naked mole rat is one of the few mammals that cannot regulate its body temperature. It instead is dependent on external sources, like basking in tunnels close to the surface or huddling together like a little rodent lemon party. So yeah, this weird little ball sack is also cold-blooded. Social behavior in mammals is pretty common, from troops of monkeys, to pods of orcas, to herds of elephants. But the naked mole rat is the only mammal that is truly eusocial. What's that? Eusocial is when a species of animals live in a colony, with one female acting as the queen and breeding, with the rest of the species acting as workers and taking on various tasks such as child rearing, food collecting, and defense. Eusocial behavior is well known in many insects such as bees, termites, and ants, but almost unheard of in mammals. In these naked mole rat colonies, one queen will breed with one to three selected males, giving birth yearly to around 12 pups. While the other females in the colony are technically capable of reproduction, they are often discouraged by the aggressive mole rat queen, who will patrol the tunnels attacking and assaulting the other females in order to force them to become sterile and assert her dominance. Should the current mole rat queen pass away, the other female workers will engage in a Hunger Games-esque fight to the death to establish their right to the throne. The last female standing will undergo a mutation, where her vertebrate actually expands, completing her ascension to the throne where she is now the new naked mole rat queen. Much like how a child will continue their story with and then, naked mole rats are a whole bunch of and then. Here's some of the weirder and more impressive things that these little schlongs can do live longer than any rodent. Mice can live four years at the most, guinea pigs eight, and chinchillas 10. Mole rats can live for 30 years, old enough to drink, vote, rent a car, but not run for president. Naked mole rats can survive without oxygen for up to 18 minutes, where our brain will shut down after only three. And naked mole rats have a shockingly high tolerance for pain. But none of these facts are what make the naked mole rat so amazing. It's the fact that they don't get cancer. What? Oh. Come on. Oh, okay, let's take a few steps back here. Before this instance, in 2016, with not only the first naked mole rat to get cancer, but also the first naked mole rat cancer survivor, there was no documented instance of a naked mole rat getting cancer, which is amazing because cancer is very sadly a common occurrence in nature. Cats, dogs, Tasmanian devils, intestinal stomach cancer is one of the second leading causes of death in beluga whales, and even one thought to be cancer-free shark can actually get melanoma. Wear sunscreen, my dudes. In 2013, a theory was discovered as to why these little undercooked sausages might not be getting cancer. Their bodies were producing a very large quantity of hyaluronin, a large sugar that can thicken liquid. In studies where mole rat's hyaluronin was drastically reduced, they suddenly became susceptible to cancer. Because cancer is often caused by tumors, the theory suggests that the hyaluronin prevents tumors from being formed, thus preventing most forms of cancer. 
Like we tend to do with weird animals that look like walking testicles, the naked mole rat is overlooked for its amazing abilities that, if studied, might wake way for some groundbreaking medical treatments. I myself knew very little about them until I had the pleasure of meeting them at the Smithsonian Zoo's daily meet and greet a small mammal. And on a little side note, the naked mole rats were the Smithsonian Zoo's first vloggers. Yep. Back in 1996, the zoo's social media, before that was a term, uh, went to various lead keepers to get permission to start up a webcam. The only keeper who agreed to it was the one in charge of the naked mole rats. Sadly, due to rapidly changing streaming technology and the cost to upgrade it, the naked mole rats opening up their little box of nerd swag went dark in 2015. Though the zoo is trying to raise funds for a new mole rat crib, complete with a new webcam. It's in our nature as people to embrace the cute and cuddly and to dismiss the odd and fallacy. But by taking the time and interest in the naked mole rat, we might be able to benefit ourselves in terms of finding ways to treat stroke, chronic pain, and cancer. The naked mole rat isn't going to show up on a BuzzFeed article anytime soon, unless its top 10 animals look like Mitch McConnell. But every animal has something amazing to offer the world, even if it looks like a wang with teeth. That's all for today. Thanks for letting me talk about naked mole rats.